What's going on guys, it is 915 Designs, and we are going to be making a David Krejci edit or design, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're doing David Krejci because today, or whenever I made this video, I don't think I'm going to get it up today. Um, whenever I make this video, you can see it's Thursday, 9 or 6 p.m. Um, the Bruins had a game, and he scored the first goal, so I thought, oh, I'll do it to edit Krejci. Um, so, that's why we were doing David Krejci. Now, the other thing I want to say before I start designing is thank you guys so much for this, all the subscribers and stuff on Instagram or on uh, YouTube. Um, it really means a lot. It keeps me motivated that you guys have been liking my stuff. I've been getting a lot more likes on my pictures. Um, people have, you know, told me that they, in the comments and stuff like that, that they like the brush packs and the uh, tutorials. I had one kid, or not, I shouldn't say kid. I had one person post a, uh, an edit and it looked really, really close to what an edit of mine looked like. And I just said, did you use my tutorial by, by any chance? And he said, yeah, I'm, I'll give you credit. And I said, I'm not I'm not looking for credit. I was just curious because it looked like he said, no, I know. I, I really want to give you credit, though. So he, you know, changed it and posted, you know, credit to 915 Designs for making the YouTube video really helped or something like that. But it's, it, I, I, that's, that's the stuff that means a lot to me. It really helps me stay motivated, like I said, and keeps my uh, spirits up. So. Anyways, we're going to be making a David Krejci design here. Um, um, you can... The first thing I'm going to do... <laughs> I already made the skin. Or I already used the skin, my skin on it. And I already uh, cropped the background. As you can see, the way I cropped it was here with the quick selection tool. And I just uh, got a decent size up. And uh, went through and... Uh, and I just, you know, selected the parts that I wanted to keep. And uh, if you, at the, I, I do it a rough around, like, student zoomed out, and then I go in, not that close, like there, and I'll go around the edges, you know, and fix whatever I, I need to, just so it's, you know, as be best as I can. So that's how I, uh, I mask. That's my preferred method of masking. And the, uh, the skin you'll see later on. In the video um so yeah let's start so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna switch our color over to white here and we're gonna grab our um, star brush which is down here straight up here so we got that and we'll up the size I'm thinking twice so we'll just place them on there like that Alright, and then we're going to switch the color over to black and go to this link, which will be in the description. And um, it gives you the hex codes for the colors of the team. Um, here's all the leagues that it has. EPL, don't know what that is. Major League Baseball, Major League Soccer, and National Basketball Association, and the National Football League, and the National Hockey League. And it depends how you do it. You can do the hex colors, RGB colors, CMYK colors, and PMS colors. Um, I really, I've only heard of this one. I don't know what these are. These two are. I don't know how to use that one. But the hex colors is easy. So you just type in like the first letter or two of your team, and it should come up with. It'll come up with everything that it has, starting with those. So as you can see here, it came up with the Boston Bruins. So FFC422. You can copy and paste that if you want to as well. Oh, shoot. Hang on before I... I forgot to do this down here. <laughs> so I'm just... Oops. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. So let's just put this on here super quick. And one thing I do want to say about masking is definitely... Oh, and I... Oh my gosh. Definitely uh, take your time 
when you're masking, masking is not something to rush. If you mess up masking, please go back and fix it. Because if you, if anyone sees it, it's gonna be another editor, and they're gonna be the ones that'll say something to you about it. So please, if you see something that you missed, missed, take your time and go back. If you have to, if you know, if you have to, if you're going somewhere and you're rushing before you have to leave, um, just it's not worth it. Um, just uh, take your time. Because, you know, people will notice if it's really bad. And that's the last thing I think that you would want to happen. Is someone say, oh, you messed up masking. So, that's just my opinion. That's not the right brush we want to use. So, now we're just going to go up to the top of our brush pack here. And like I said, and I didn't say this yet. Um, if you want the brush pack, you can go to the um, link in my bio on Instagram. And it'll have the Google Drive link to my brush pack. So I'm actually going to let that up there pretty good, pretty high, and actually I think I might want to try it. No, no, we're going to let it go. So the first brush that I've been using lately is a grid brush, and I don't usually do the same thing. I haven't, I've been doing something different with it. Since I don't like the way it looks if you just put the grid on, I don't know why, I just, I haven't been liking it. So what I've been doing was I, I'll do that. We're gonna combine these layers. Okay, so what I've been doing is putting the grid on white, grabbing a grunge brush, which are everywhere in this pack. I have a lot of grunges. So grab a grunge brush, doesn't matter what it is, so let's just get this one. No, I want this one. And just an eraser. So then just erasing a bunch of it, kind of making it look a little rugged, rough, beat up. You can just click or you can drag to um, just clicking really for now. But so then it's not like overpowering. I don't think anyways and then if you want to you can either let it like that or you can put your blend modes overlay so I kind of do that so it's really faint but you can still see it and then another one I like to do is I actually made this brush by literally just using the rectangle tool and filling it with black and literally hitting to find brush preset um where's that right here so it's just this brush here and just make it whatever size you want I'm gonna go like there and you're gonna want to go to your brush presets and go to shape dynamic and go to brush tip shape bring your spacing to somewhere decent and to know if your spacing what oh my gosh to know if your spacing is good you um so you get the perfect so you don't have to like Yes, you, to get the perfect one, to get the perfect space between each brush, you don't want to hold down shift and oops, bring your spacing away up, hold down shift and go across. So that's a little bit close for me. So what I want to do here, I think that's a little bit far. So let's go just a little bit. That's good. So, and then you just go across. Let's go right there. And then just line it up kind of as best as you can. Click first. Click first and then hold shift and go across. And then just do that all the way down. So we have that there, and I'm actually just going to erase this quick. 
also, and then you have this all at once here, so you can put your blend mode to overlay. And then you can um, center it. Like that. And then I like to go to edit, transform, perspective. And then you can do a you know, side like this if you wanted, or you can shoot it back, which is what I like to do with it. So we're just going to shoot it back to about there. And then you can uh, make it bigger. So just kind of line it up as best you can. So it looks like right there is pretty center actually so I'm just going to click on her so then we have that there and we'll I liked I used this brush in my last edit and I liked it a lot um, where's that move this up here um, this one right here so again these are all in the bottom of the brush pack so it's just simple but you put it on overlay. I think it really, I think it really looks kind of cool. So we can bring it behind that. Not that you really see it, but then what else could we do? I'm thinking we're gonna do. I'm thinking that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this little brush, and again, bring our size up. <coughs> Excuse me. Put our angle jitter up and then just place these bad boys on here just like that and overlay I like that and I think we'll try one more item one more brush and that is going to be this brush or no why do what one of these these are good brushes wow so again overlay and I think I'm going to try this other brush. And where is it at? Here it is. Which one? We'll try this one. So we're just going to make it bigger. The size, so about there. Stick that on there. Put that bad boy there. Wow, you cannot see Jack diddly squat with that there. So let's definitely bring that opacity down. There we go, that's pretty good. So, and then we're just going to, so that background's pretty much done. So, um, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to group everything together. Uh, group, and we'll just call it background. Alright. So now is where you're going to get to see the skin. So we're going to add in our other images that I have saved to my desktop. So it's this one. I just left that there. And we're going to rasterize the layer and go to filter, Topaz Labs, Topaz Denoise. And we're going to click Topaz JPEG Light here. And bring the strength up to 25%, 20.25. Click OK, and we'll let that load. And then we'll do adjust, and we'll stay in the stylized collection here, and come down to psychedelic, and get rid of adaptive. Just close adaptive exposure. By just clicking on the heading here and it will minimize those and you want to unminimize details and just want to type in 0 0.75 
and click enter and then OK and then you want to go to filter topaz clean 3 and we'll do curly smooth here with the threshold at 0 and the strength at 2 and then we'll click OK and then what we're going to do is we're going to first we're going to slide it out here so we can see what we got and we're going to go to image adjustments black and white and we'll just let that there and I'm thinking we're going to stay with the black and white this time so since we're going to stay with black and white we're going to bring this image down here a little bit more I'm thinking about right there and click enter and go to our eraser tool and we'll grab go up here and we're going to grab a circular brush that came with the, the, one of the default brushes <coughs> make our size just a little bit bigger again our uh, our what should we call it our hardness is at zero so soft edges is what we're trying to create here Then once you do that, you can increase the size of your brush and take away as you feel is needed. So we can get rid of parts of this guy. Uh, let's get rid of the whole thing. So add him back in there, and I think that looks pretty good. And let's get a little bit on the legs there. Okay. So then we have that first one done and we're actually going to slide it down more towards the bottom like about right there because we do have another image yet but we can actually smaller make this a little bit smaller okay and then again we're going to add our next image in this one right here and if you're at if you're doing the same skin for more than one image it'll be super easy because once you do the one it'll already keep your uh, previous settings so if we go into denoise here it's already set at 25 on jpeg light so we just click ok and it'll be the same for clean and adjust so after you do the skin once it's really easy to do it again because you don't have to change any settings. Just go in and click OK. So I did this skin here in under probably just about 30 seconds it took me to do this skin. So that's really cool. Oh, I forgot to rasterize it. If you forget to rasterize it, that's OK. Just do it at the end and it'll go back to your regular picture. So we're just going to get image again and adjustments, not color balance. And then we want black and white and just let it on the default black and white and then we'll make it smaller out there and then we'll just put it behind this one so we can see what we're, where we gotta be and then we can do the exact same thing we did with the other one getting rid of those hard edges turning them into soft edges so you can minimize this and this so you can definitely get rid of all the hard edges then we can add these back in and see how our picture is looking and we're going to bring this guy up just so you can see a little more. Is he moving? No, he's not moving because I'm not on. Sorry, oh, I'm not. Uh, so we can bring this up like that. And then that's where I think we're going to let it. But actually, we're going to slide it down over and we're going to make it just a little bigger. Like there, I think. Then 
all of the only thing we're going to do next is the uh, text, and we'll be done. So we're going to grab our font. Um, I'm going to use. I don't know what I should use. Let's go with this. And we're just going to type in Krejci. And make it to size. Actually, I'll yeah, just keep it symmetrical. So. You can just add that right there. I'm going to double click on it and add our style. And we actually want to color overlay. I'll bring the opacity up a little bit more so it's darker. And we'll bring our drop shadow in. So the way we actually have this our style set up here is we went to styles we clicked on this here we went to stroke and those are the settings in our stroke then we went to color overlay and for this image that's what we have here just normal black 41 percent opacity outer glow i always keep the same outer glow so if you want to take a minute there to look at that i'll let that up for a second just so you can pause the video and look at that if you want. Sorry, I kind of yawned and stretched there. So you can pause the video and look at that. There are settings there. And then our drop shadow is what we have right here. So to make it your own style, you just, after you have all your settings done, you just click new style. And then it'll show up here in the styles on the end. So we already have that. So we click OK. And we're going to add our watermark. And we're going to be done. So our watermark, the font we use. Oops. Delete this. Create a new layer here. <laughs> Sorry. The uh, font we use for our watermark is called Good Times Regular. And we'll make it, and it's just at 915.d. make it smaller <clears throat> oh. and we'll put it up here and the last thing I want to do is if you want to add a text effects a text effect to the um, <clears throat> main text um, I think I'm going to do that so you just want to right click on it and click rasterize type and it will bring it up like this and then you just go to your edit transform and I use perspective you have all these different ones here but I have to use perspective because you have so many different things here you can just this just turns it like that so we'll put that back here try to put it at zero there we go and then you have these corners well, first you'll do you have these, which do just tilt it like that. So we'll try to stick this at zero. There we go. And then you have the corners, which you can you can do stuff like this, and you can bring it, push it back, and if you go up, you know, push it forward. So we're actually gonna kind of we're gonna go with like that. I'm thinking. So. If you guys enjoyed and learned something from this video, please come back again, watch the next ones, check out my last one it labeled how to design, how to edit like these designs, which is, <clears throat> is similar to this video, but it's with an Eddie Lacy image, with Eddie Lacy images, sorry, and I think it kind of looks like these designs in a way, but yeah thank you guys for watching like if you want this brush pack go check out the link in my descript in the instagram bio the uh, link to my instagram will be in the in the description 
Um, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something, and I will see you guys in the next one.